Hello guys and welcome to Headset VR and today we are going to make a miss as we are playing Vox Machina. Today there was an update which added a new single player campaign into the game. So we're going to go through and have a little bit of a blast. Now it seems like there's some good settings here for movement and as you can see here you can use a hotus remap oh look at hands a gloves yeah you can remap your keys use keyboard and mouse but we're going to use the quest 2 controllers so i'm using this through piece on pc through steam using a quest 2 headset with a link cable so let's just get started and see what the hell is going to happen so, you're looking for a story, eh? Yep, we're looking for a story. I've got a few of those under my belt. <laughs> you can't be a captain without having a good story to tell. So, I used to fly a transport ship for Horizon Corporate. You know Horizon Corporate, right? Small no. mining company that had a license to mine in the server system. License to mine? Worked with their security team, shuttling them around from planet to planet. These are the planets we went where the that look like was. Except fruit. There was never much That's small fruit. That's an orange. That was until one day when a new pilot joined the mining crew on Topaz. I'm guessing that that's me. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm playing on PC using a Quest 2 headset with 32 gigabytes of RAM and an, RT, an RX 6600 XT computer with a Ryzen 9 3900X, 3900X processor. I don't know what you're going on about, love, but. Okay. That looks like. Oh! Is that the toilet back there in a the little bed? Fire extinguisher? Oh. Okay. Wow. Well, um. I'm quite impressed so far. Stable rock formation for training purposes. This is an important task to master in order to have as few catastrophic accidents as possible. Do you wish to proceed with basic training to learn how to operate your grinder? Well, I guess we might as well. How do I? Good choice. Training yep. prevents future failure, and Horizon Corporate does not accept failure. We will proceed to the rock. The evolution location has been placed on your radar, which can be found in the bottom left corner of your cockpit. The okay. large white circle shows the location of objectives. Follow the large white circle on your radar to the demolition location. If you ever forget what your current objective is, the screen on the bottom right of your cockpit will tell you what to do next. Okay. Helpful. This is the turn. Cheers, look. Grab the joystick and turn it left or right to steer your grinder. Turn toward the location of the unstable rock. Stop. We are in the right direction. This is your throttle. Grab the throttle and move it forwards or backwards to control your speed while moving on the ground. Move toward the unstable rock now. Okay. Controls seem pretty straightforward. You have successfully walked a short distance. Thanks. This is the rock that requires demolition. You will receive instruction on how to do so. Screen on the upper right panel of your cockpit displays your grinder's range of mining tools and weapons. 
Okay. The screen shows the weapon type that is currently equipped and which group the weapon belongs to. Aim at the rock and press left trigger. Yeah, that's good. That's slow like tracking where I'm aiming with my hands. Oh, what was that? Remember, pilot, press left trigger to fire at the rock. Oh, yeah, I know that. It was making a noise. I thought it was about to blow up. Yep, I'm gathering that's the heat, so don't know where he's. Remember, pilot, press left trigger, fire in the rock. Well, I'm a bit tired of firing at the fucking rocking all on this thing. I just want to go and explore. You've told me the basics. So we have long partner Donnie is already contributing to his daily quota. This is Frank, Horizon Security Commander. I see you're back from getting your AI body fitted. Hopefully the post-installation brain fog hasn't hit you too hard, because I need you to check on our delivery driver, Joe. He hasn't arrived with his shipment yet, and he might have gotten stuck somewhere. It's on the right, mining station. Oh. Okay. Okay. Fucking over time. Screw that shit. I must say, so far, I'm actually pretty impressed. Made it nice and straightforward. Yeah, I know. The large white circle indicates Joe's location. Head to the large white circle on your radar. Oh, I'm heading there, don't you worry, missus. It looks like Joe is sleeping on the job again. Give him a honk to wake him up. Hey, a honk. Keep honking, pilot. Oh. oh, hello, hello, pilot. I was just making sure that this um, shipment was stable before transporting it. You know, safety first, as I always. Say. Yeah, and all that bullshit. Incoming call from base. Hey, pilot. This is Frank again. Listen, I have reports your partner Donny has been causing some trouble. Would you mind checking on him? Donny is located at our designated mining location. We should not have to make a detour. Settle the problem with Donny and resume your goal to meet the production quota. Okay, let's go and head over there. Now, from what I've been reading, 
It's a six to eight hour long campaign. So in my case, it's probably about 15 hours. So if you're a bit of a slow ass like me, then enjoy taking your time, not rushing through. You'll have a decent blast. Can I mine him? No. That vehicle looks like it's struggling. That vehicle looks like it's struggling over the uh, terrain. Not really sure if he's going to get up that hill. Can we watch? Yeah, good luck, Joe. It's going to shit on your suspension, that is, mate. Has been on your radar. Yeah, I know, whatever. I'm going. God, this robot's going to become a little bit on the annoying side. Yep, see you later, Joe. Good luck driving over annoying terrain. Donnie's location has been placed on your radar. Yep, I know. You've told me ten times. So, there he is. Yo, asshole, apparently you're causing trouble. Oh. oh, look who finally decided to show up. My tardy mining partner. I've been working my fingers to the bone thanks to you. Nice. Please be more careful with your laser. What laser? You almost killed me. What? Ah. Whoops. Uh, it was an accident. But he totally deserved it. You saw how annoying that driver was? He was mm. telling me how to do my job. That he doesn't deserve to kill him. No, would not. Why do I have to work with all these people who disrespect me? I have a right to blow ridiculous. up things that annoy me. Mm. I'll show them who is boss. The security commander has been informed of this incident. What in the blazes is Donnie doing? Is he attacking the refining station? Okay, I'm not really supposed to do this, but I've given you authorization to operate a laser for combat purposes. Use it to destroy one of Donnie's arms. Okay, so... Get closer to Donnie, pilot. Your laser is less effective at long ranges. Slightly hindered. I've disabled your weapon, so just keep following him while I think of something. I never wanted this stupid job to begin with. I'm only here because I have to do mandatory community service since apparently ejecting someone out of an airlock is considered murder. Well, he's completely correct. Pilot, keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't cause any more property damage. Don't worry, we'll have corporate sort him out when he's done his rampage. Okay, you, so it looks Frank, You're next. Mm. After I'm done turning everything to dust out here, I'm coming for you. I'm gonna make you watch as I drink all of your precious imported tea. Okay, I think it's fair to classify this as an emergency. Follow him, pilot, keep close to him. We'll use your location as a beacon for the security team. I've sent in trucks to back you up, pilot. <laughs> for the love of the minimum wage.
donate, workers donate. Did you see that explosion? Who needs workplace conflict resolution when you have lasers? <laughs> He's so psychopath. Rocks. Take that HR mediation. Come on, man. Right. Now he's figured out how to jump. Be permission to use the jump jets to pursue Pony. If you are still struggling with post installation rain clock, I will instruct you on how to use the jump jets. Would you like to have a detailed explanation on using the jump jets? Come on, let's do it then. In order to perform jump, your grinder requires fuel. Your fuel really? empties when the jump jets are in use and regenerates automatically when the jump jets are not in use. Okay. This is your jump stick. Grab the jump stick and pull up to use your jump jets to fly upwards. Grab the jump stick and move it around to move forward, backward and side to side. Use your jump jets to follow Donnie. Hey man, not like I meant to kill those people. It was an accident. All the trucks were an accident as well. And the refining station too. Yeah. Besides, you were late to your shift, and I had to do your work. So that means it's your fault that I blew everything up. Look, yeah, of course. All right. Everyone makes mistakes. Just power down, okay? We'll launch an investigation into how your partner's tardiness caused such a terrible accident. You can completely trust us. Seriously? That's so. Wait. You're trying to trick me. You're just gonna throw me right back in jail! Donnie, wait. Mm. I'm never going back. Can we just kill him already? Don't worry, we have backup on the way. Reggie, our top pilot from the security team is coming. Hey there, Miner. Thanks for the help, but I'll take it from here. All right, Donnie, it's over. You're going to come with me, okay? You know something, Reggie? I never liked you. Eat plasma, you corporate minion! Well, there goes our most seasoned security officer. Pilot, I've activated your full range of weaponry. Blast Donnie into orbit. Don't listen to anything Frank says! He's a corporate shill! Hey! I told you not to listen to him! I'm warning you! Are you supposed to be a threat? Okay, come on, Donny.
didn't well yeah you stopped on his rampage even though he did some serious damage to you yeah but this union regulations require you to get debriefed after fighting your co-workers make your way to Cassiar base horizon security team has docked their dropship there and someone on board will be able to debrief you I know it's a drag but regulations oh, no. are regulations they're gonna take my pants off they can take my pants off Can I go on a vampire now, I wonder? Okay, so let's head into the base. And that looks like how we're going to get into combat. Gonna open the doors for me. Nope, not really sure how that works. supposed to get onto. There we go. Okay. This distraction has cost Horizon Fortford in time and resources. Then we go then. Responsibility to make sure you meet your mining production quota. Lloyd, so this looks pretty impressive so far. Yeah, whatever. This is my only purpose. This is your only purpose. Okay. He's just you bonkers. No. Yeah. Right, so this looks pretty impressive so far. Although this isn't the PvP campaign. I'm not really one that's fussed about PvP. But the controls all very immersive. There's a few things I don't know what they do. But otherwise. This looks pretty Can't be choppy then. Right, so I think we're gonna end the footage here and we're gonna have to play some more of this. A word pilot? Oh. Press A to engage in conversation. Communicate with a human. Do does this work in real life as well? Go A A A L. Welcome on board the conference. Horizon Security's corporate liaison, Nuru Nebaru. Who? You can just call me Nebaru. Nebaru, those of you? Has been acknowledged. Oh, I see corporate has paired you with an AI buddy. My name is Blue. Who? Nice what? to meet you, Blue. Yeah, whatever. This meeting is preventing my pilot from meeting the daily mining quota. <laughs> I see. Well, Frank has informed me that you could be injured from your battle with Donnie. Following union regulations, all non-security employees must be inspected by a doctor after engaging in combat. Well, I'm pretty we sure are short -staffed. Our doctor is currently on leave after a horrible accident with a vending machine, so we cannot have them medically examine you. Oh. We will have to compromise. I know this doesn't appear to be a good alternative, but on the insistence what of our captain, I'm going to give you this stamp card. Introduce yourself to the security crew. We've all got the same gloves. To see if you're exhibiting any memory loss, blurry vision, or loss of motor functions. If you pass their observations, they will stamp your card. When you've filled out your stamp card, Ooh. come back to me, and I'll brief you. Well, I'll leave you to it. Good luck. Press left to stick up to move around the ship. Oh, okay, we don't want teleportation on.
Whoa. It seems I have left the game inadvertently. Well, let's see if we can continue. I guess this is taking me back to, um... Ooh. We gotta go and speak to that woman again. Clock in it. Right, I think we're gonna end the video just here. A word pilot? No! Okay, okay. So, there we go. We know... Can I sit down there? It's a lot of mingo. Well, oh, we're gonna... Pilot? Yeah, whatever. Welcome on board the Confidence. Anyway, we're gonna end the video there. This has been Headset Vion playing Vox Machina and its new story. Oh, its new story campaign. Do you mind? My name is Blue. Can we skip through this? It's also preventing me from talking about the video and saying what's going on. So, <laughs> rather than sit and talk to Naruba again, we're going to end the footage just there. And I'm going to say thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Like, subscribe, comment, get in the mech and bust some balls. This has been Headset VR playing Vox Machina. I hope you've enjoyed. I sure as hell fucking have. Kick ass!